Hi, today we're going to take a look at a couple of superb tabletop telescopes. One is a classic Takahashi, the other one is something I call a Zeistron. Uh, it's a combination of a Zeiss optic with Unitron components. Let's take a look at this beautiful little Takahashi telescope. This is an FC50. 50. 50 millimeters is a very tiny, diminutive little telescope. And if anyone can do a small telescope right, it's certainly Takahashi. This has got all the bells and whistles. Uh, it's a fluorite um, doublet, so it's a, a superb optic. And of course, like everything Takahashi, build quality top notch. Optical perfection, mechanical perfection from the beginning to the end. Everything is absolutely superb here including the little tabletop mount. This is completely charming. I have a real soft spot for these little cute things, uh, partly because they can display so nicely in my library. Uh, you can see how this thing works. Uh, you probably, I'm not sure if you can go all the way to the zenith. It would be awfully hard to observe anything at the zenith. Uh, and it's got a little friction clutch here. It's also got a friction clutch here. You can actually lock it down quite quite well, but it moves nicely and you could easily set it on something and track. It's even got, it's, a, it's hard for you to tell probably, but it's somewhat spring-loaded. In other words, it wants to stay more or less in this position. There's a little bit of a, I don't know how they did that, but there's a, a bit of a, a tensioner in there to do that. It's got a superb little 5 by 24 finder, cutest little thing. And of course, a Takahashi 5 by 24 finder is like, oh, sorry, 5 by 25. It's like anyone else's, at least 6 by 30, maybe 8 by 50. The quality of their finders, they by, by, by far exceed the quality of any other finder I've ever seen. So uh, it's a more than adequate finder, even though it sounds diminutive. The telescope is actually pretty powerful, pretty useful little scope. Uh, it's only 50 millimeters. You can't expect a miracle with 50 millimeters. Limit, uh, aperture is the limit of the performance of a telescope. But by the same token, if you're only going to have 50 millimeters, they've certainly done a very, very nice job with this one. Uh, we'll see its competitor here in a minute. So there it is, the beautiful Takahashi FC50. Superb telescope. <clears throat> you can probably tell that I'm sitting up a little higher than I was with the Takahashi. This is a taller mount. I made this mount uh, from the table up to here. This is, of course, a Unitron head, an Altaz head from a Unitron. Superb, very well made. Um, a nice utility Altaz kind of a, a mount with really good, high quality slow motions. Uh, it's got an advantage over the Takahashi in that respect. It's really, really superb. <clears throat> this is actually a um, Formerly a damaged tube from a 60 millimeter Unitron, finder from a 60 millimeter Unitron, and focuser from a 60 millimeter Unitron. But there's a little surprise under the hood here. If we take a look at this, I'll show you a close up. That says Zeiss 50 millimeter. So this is a Zeiss 50 millimeter uh, telescope objective. Superb quality. Uh, 50 millimeter 540 is the focal length. And it is a wonderful objective. If anybody could give Takahashi a run for their money, it would be this Zeiss. And in this aperture, the uh, chromatic aberration is minimal. At a 5 inch f10 or f11, <clears throat> like this one, has almost zero chromatic aberration. So the fact that the Takahashi is a fluorite, okay, so it's got absolutely zero chromatic aberration, 
but it won't make any practical difference. And in fact, at the eyepiece, it doesn't make very much practical difference. The Zeiss is, I would say, about the same as the Takahashi. I would say it's a dead tie. Uh, they're about even. And uh, both of these scopes are wonderful, superb little scopes. And of course, 50 millimeters isn't very much aperture, as those of you in astronomy know. But as a, a really quick, I mean, take it outside, grab it out, take it outside and go type of a telescope. These are very nice. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of these two charming tabletop telescopes. Thank you.